Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Mario and Luigi Partners in Time Let's Play. Let's talk to Professor Egad and see where the story takes us to next. Hey now, back at last. You've collected quite a few of the Cobalt Star Shards now, haven't you, boys? Why, you've got five of the Cobalt Star Shards. There's only one more to go. Professor, we have data about the Cobalt Star. It appears to possess the power to remove the barrier from the past castle. Hmm. How'd you come to that conclusion? I mean, unless the Cobalt Star itself told you. It did. The spirit of the star materialated before us and gave us that very information. I see. Well, if you got it straight from that star's mouth, it's probably safe. The end's in sight, guys. We'll think good thoughts until you're all safely back here. The time hole to the past castle is on the third floor, fellers. You stay out of trouble now. Although I guess that's not really an option at this point. Alright! So before we make our way over to the uh, time hole, back to the Shrew Castle, I probably should stock up on items. I think I stocked up last video, but let's just be doubly safe. Oh yeah, we're good. I probably should buy some more bro items though. Oh, am I all out of money? <laughs> I'm actually all out of money. Oh man, that sucks. Um, I, I should have enough. Alright. We made it to the third floor, where we need to go to reach the Shroop Castle. And it was a long-ass walk, so I had to cut that out. But we made it. Let's jump inside and see what happens. Onward to Shroop Castle to face off with the Shroop Queen and whoever else is there. Not quite sure who else we're going to fight, but it's definitely the Shroop Queen. Probably the Cobalt Star, because I'm convinced that he is actually an evil force of nature. And, uh, yeah, not sure what else we have here, but let's get into it. This is going to be fun. We're all pretty much at endgame, it feels like. Oh, by hinges and handles, the Cobalt Star is reacting with extreme agitification. It just disintegrated the locks to the castle. This thing literally has the powers of Jean Grey. It's an Omega level threat. Come on, Luigi, say the words. <laughs> All right, let's go on into the castle and see what's in here. I wonder if the enemies in the overworld are going to be really tough. Let's, go. let's see. First new enemy. Uh oh, it was so hard to tell when it was going to hit me. Uh, right off the bat, they don't seem that much tougher. But they are definitely a lot beefier. They're taking a lot more damage to take out. Ver oh god, he's so fast. Oh god, he's so fast. Okay, so I guess with this version of the Tashruba, I have to only jump with one bro at a time. Because when I jump with both bros, it's pretty much setting me up to uh, get hit by them. Oh no. Habit. Habits are hard to break. Habits are so hard to break, but I'm going to beat you. There we go, it's dead. Ooh, 300 experience? That's insane. I'm going to kill everything. All right. So that's one group of enemies down. What's over here? Ooh, copy flowers. What are you? A snooze orb? Are you tough? You look like you're tough. Oh, no, it's a wait. Got to finish it off ASAP. Oh, I didn't even have to jump. Huh. I wonder how I could tell which bro it's going to attack first. I'm sure when I edit this video, I'm going to see its pattern in the recording. Hopefully I catch on to it 
for them though, so I don't take too many hits. Good thing I bought 99 mushrooms. We're gonna burn through these things so quickly. Hopefully we are able to travel back to the Mushroom Kingdom before the final fight, just so that I could stock up on any items I'm gonna need. But it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have a ton of bro items, and that's really what we mainly need. Um, during fights, I don't really use mushrooms that often. Usually I'm using the uh, bro items more than the uh, health items and, you know, buff items. Oh, another mini baby mini section. Let me actually change the screen so that the babies are on the big screen. Alright, let's see. What do we got over here? Loot. Okay. I was getting a little little cocky there. I was really worried I was going to fall off. Ooh, I wonder how I get up there. Huh, that's how. We lower the we lower the platform. No! I'm going for it. Is it worth it? Heck yeah. Red shells are a really busted bro item. Mainly because they can hit multiple enemies with one use. Compared to the green shell, which is, you know, only one enemy. That was pretty tough, but we're almost out of there. Ooh, good thing I didn't go more down. I would have would have hit the spikes. All right, what do you open up? That pathway, it seems. I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of what she's done with this place. feel like Mushroom Kingdom looked a lot better before. You're dead. Let's go. All right. You know, it's like you're an evil group, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a sense of style. Oh, it's so hard to like gauge where it's gonna, when it's gonna hit. Well, I guess when it's gonna be like right over each bro's head. At least for me, I'm having a hard time with that. I'm just gonna use a bro shell. Let's get this over with. Yeah, you don't stand a chance with the bro shell. Although this does get kind of fast towards the end. Oh god, almost had it. That's fine. One more jump attack and this thing should be gone. But yeah, just because you're evil doesn't mean you can't have a sense of style. You don't have to go with the doom and gloom. You could, uh, lighten it up a bit. Make it feel a little bit more like Evil Home, you know? Also, that level up was nice. Oh, I should probably switch the screen, too. Back to normal. Good thing I got that soon. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Level 26. Keep boosting that power, baby. It'd be really messed up if it had me do a, a series of fights with just the babies. Hopefully I can uh, reunite everybody here. Oh, sweet. That would have been extremely tough because the babies do not have high defenses. So I would have been absolutely obliterated by any of the enemies here if uh, I were to fight them with just the babies. All right, what's what's in pipe number one? Oh, oh boy, this is a this is a big one. That's what she said. Should I end the video or should I continue onward? I think I'm gonna end the video right here. Actually, this is a lot to explore, and 
I'll cover it all in the next video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.